Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is Lenovo IdeaPad 100S, okay? Recently, uh, the Windows system got corrupted, so I would like to enable the USB boot from BIOS and would like to install Windows 10 and the format would be in UEFI and bar. So first of all, you should have the bootable correct UEFI based Windows 10 thumb drive. If you don't know how to create one, then you can check, it's super easy just check the video link would be in the video description so if you do have the correct one make sure you plug it into the usb and Lenovo is very unique with the bios function and stuff like this example you know like dell hp they do have kind of functional key like f2 f10 to get into bios but Lenovo, what they done they use a uh, button which is called novo button as you can see right next to the uh, power switch okay and sometimes what they do they don't put it on the top instead of doing that what they do either they use the left hand side and uh, or into the right hand side okay so what do you have to do first you need to locate your noble button as you can see 400s is right here and if you don't find right here then you can check on the left and right like this this side or sometimes they do on the right hand side okay okay but this is pretty much easy because I can see the button so let's say the system is completely turned off then without pressing the power button we're gonna press the noble button and straight away it's gonna give you a few options very useful as you can see the normal startup bio setup boot menu system recovery so we're gonna get into the BIOS one by going down and then we're gonna hit enter. Okay. And once we hit enter, then it's gonna give you the direct ordinary page as you can see. I'm really sorry, the screen is very reflective as you can see. So it's very difficult to point out uh, through the camera focus. Okay. So as you can see, there are a few menu. On the left hand side information then configuration and startup so in information you're going to get all about uh, the device information and we're going to start working from the security section because if you would like to install windows in uefi boot then you need to get into the secure security and find the secure bot option it has to be enabled otherwise the uefi would not work so if that is disabled, make sure you uh, hit the enter button and make it enable. And then we're going to get into the boot section. From here, we can see the boot mode. This is one of the most important. By clicking, you need to choose either if you would like legacy or UEFI. I'm going to choose the UEFI because I'm installing in that format. Once it's done, pretty much that's all. Now we're going to save it by pressing F10. Remember again, some IdeaPad 100S doesn't work if you press F10 to save it. You need to press and hold the Fn key plus the F10 key. Okay, but this machine is absolutely fine. Once we've done that, it's going to uh, restart. Might be it's going to get into USB boot directly. If it doesn't, no problem. What you can do, we can repeat the same thing again by pressing Novo button and then we'll get into boot menu all right the system is again completely off and then we press the noble button it's going to turn on once it turn on instead of going into bios go to boot menu the third option and hit enter once you do that it's going to give you all the available way to get into boot we're going to choose USB HDD because that is the one I want and I'm going to hit enter. Once I do that, it's going to straight back to the Windows setup page. Sometimes it take about like a couple of minutes or less. It depends on your uh, model, like how strong it is. So don't be confused if it takes a couple of minutes. And as you can see, this is spinning, so it seems something is working behind. There you go. Now it's pretty simple. I believe everybody, you guys know how to do that. 
it's pretty simple you need to choose which language you want time and keyboard and stuff now we're going to accept the terms and condition and if you'd like to install the clean windows then you have to format all the partition but remember uh, don't forget to back up your data before you get into this stage otherwise you're going to lose all the existing data now i'm going to keep one partition and the main process already began now the windows system would give all the necessary files and folders into the hard drive or ssd and it takes from here until the end about 15 to 20 minutes to finish all the setups so let's see how it goes